Hello, uh, I just wanted to give you a quick tip about how to recover uh, your line art. Uh, excuse me, here you go. Your line art uh, from a flattened JPEG or a flattened layered uh, PSD. You don't know what you did, you lost your PSD, you only have the JPEG of your line art, or you flattened everything and there's no way to recover it. A quick, easy, simple, almost non destructive way of doing that. Uh, is you are going to pop in your JPEG into Photoshop, no worries so far. Going to open the channels on the uh, on the right here, uh, probably sure you can find them here. Uh, and you're going to select that tiny cir dotted circle line. And what's going to do, it's going to select everything that is, uh, I think, not white. So everything that is not pure white, it's going to select. And then you're just going to invert your selection, Control shift i or again, select and inverse. Going to create a new layer, and we're going to fill it. And that gives us our line art back. And as you can see, it kept pretty much the texture exactly. Right, let's compare, compare to the slightly darker, but you know, most of the texture is here. Uh, it's non-destructive, almost non-destructive, of course, it's still a JPEG, so there has been compression compared to your PSD, but uh, after that, you should just be able, you know, to for people who like to color their lines, you know, you'll be able to uh, do those kind of things, those fancy things. Um, there's also the case of, but Alex, I saved my line art like that on a colored background on a less than on a like darker than white background. So there's still a way to recover that. We're gonna pop that in again. All right, just gonna uh, raster rasterize it. I don't even think you need to rasterize it, but I'd like to rasterize it. Um, as you can see, if we try now, we should have we should be getting into some trouble. So I'm gonna go into channel, click that again, and invert my selection, and it should give me a grayed out. As you can see, it gave me a grayed out thingy. Uh, that's because my base wasn't white, the background wasn't white, and so we consider that a lot of it was information. Uh, so as you can see, if I'm trying to uh, to erase on that, like that gray is actually part of the our line art, so we don't want that. A simple way to solve that, that may be slightly more destructive, uh, is to pop back into channels again and try to identi identify the one that is the the brightest. In that case, it's red. So if I press on red, I have a I have basically all the red that is sticking off. And because it's way brighter, we can go back and press our tiny magic circle, invert it. Uh, we can go back on all channels now. And if we do that again, here we go. It should be clean. There shouldn't be any, let's try with a, a brighter color. There shouldn't be any, yeah, any like a, uh, noise or anything it should have kept your texture it should be pretty clean in the off chance <laughs> that you have uh, you've actually like let's darken that even more you know like this is what you have well first of all you're asking for trouble just saving uh, your line arts like that but you know uh, i'm not one to judge here you, we kind of have we're gonna have to go the destructive way uh, which is not going to be that destructive but first let's try to identify if there's a channel that might be brighter uh, you know, honestly, at that point, you're pretty much forced to first we'll uh, desaturate it. So Control Shift Q to put it to put that layer in, in gray, and then Control L to open your levels. And then what we're gonna have to do is uh, we're gonna have to do it, you know, a little bit dirty. Uh, so I'm gonna exaggerate as much as I can. You know, um, basically you want to try to pop almost on or past that. Uh, that big spot, that's where you white, you know, that's where you white is going to be perfectly white. And we kind of want to, we don't want it too dark because then it's going to eat our texture. So we want it, you know, we want it just slightly like that. I think that's actually perfect. Uh, we do that and we do our good old routine again. Select new layer, control shift I to invert and we'll fill it in, in, in green. And here we go. You know, let's put it in black and white. So you, lo you lost a bit more information, you lost a bit more texture, but as you can see, it's still pretty, pretty clean. You know, if I duplicate it, I mean, actually, I might just try to just, yeah, here we go. 
still pretty clean. Uh, that's it for me. Just wanted to, to share that because I feel like uh, not a lot of people know that it's an easy way to to get back your, your line art. Have a good uh, have a good day. Have a good life.